Great Southern Wood Preserving Incorporated was established in 1970 in the small town of Abbeville, Alabama. Today, the company has 14 strategically located treating plants that cover all or part of 27 states and the District of Columbia. In 1985, the company opened a plant in Conyers, Georgia, the company's third full-service treating plant. This facility sits on 25 acres of developed land, shipping 180 million board feet of lumber each year. That's more than 10,000 truckloads of wood with the capacity to do even more. When a load of southern yellow pine arrives, it's inspected for quality and then assigned a unique barcode placard. This placard tracks each bundle as it moves through the production process and also allows us to track a number of other quality control factors. After receiving a placard, the unit is moved to the untreated warehouse, where the wood is kept dry until it's ready to be treated. Prior to treatment, every piece of lumber receives an end tag that covers a variety of details needed by the end user. Once tagged, the bundles are readied for treatment. A charge is tagged lumber that is selected to be treated together. When the charge is ready, it is loaded onto trams to be transferred into the treating cylinders. The Conyers facility operates two cylinders to treat MCA and borates. Once the lumber is loaded in the cylinder and the doors are secured, the treatment process begins with an initial vacuum to open the cells of the wood. Next, the waterborne preservative mixture is pumped into the cylinder. After the cylinder is filled, pressure is applied to force the preservative into the now open cells. After the charge runs, the remaining solution is transferred into a storage tank before a final vacuum is pulled and the treatment process is complete. Each charge can take between 45 minutes to an hour from start to finish. Each charge has core samples removed to test for proper penetration and retention of the preservative. All Great Southern facilities take twice as many core samples as required by industry standards. The charge is then transferred to the drip pad. The bundles will remain on the drip pad for at least 24 hours or until it is visually stopped dripping. The runoff is contained and recycled. Once air dried, the bundles are moved into treated storage. All treated products are stored based on dimension, grade, and retention with high volume items staged closest to the loading area. In addition to storing Yellowwood brand products, our treated shed houses borate treated products and fire retardant treated wood. Our specialty warehouse maintains a large inventory of distribution items, which we package in job lot quantities and ship to your location within 48 hours. By creating a pallet for each order, your product is better protected from damage and arrives ready to head to the job. Our team of forklift operators build out loads, and with one last quality check, the load is released to head out the gate and to your store. And there you have it, the five-star treating process to manufacture five-star Yellowwood brand products.